certain criteria needs to be met for the parking aid system to function correctly. Please be aware that the system may not function in all road and weather conditions. The parking aid sensors located in the front and rear bumpers and on each corner of the vehicle need to be kept clean and clear of any ice, frost, dirt or anything obstructing its detection pathway. Please be aware that the sensors may not detect moving objects such as children or animals until they are dangerously close, some overhanging objects or barriers, or thin obstructions. When driving slowly forwards into a parking space, with drive selected, touch the parking aid icon on the touchscreen. The front and side sensors activate and the indicator above the parking aid icon illuminates to confirm selection. The touchscreen displays an overhead view of the vehicle and the surrounding area. The vehicle's predicted pathway, based on the position of the steering wheel and the vehicle's speed, is shown on the display. Any obstacles within the vehicle's surroundings are displayed as coloured blocks on the touchscreen. These coloured blocks depict the likelihood of a collision with a detected obstacle and the risk level. When an object is detected, a warning tone is also emitted. This increases in frequency as you move closer to the object and becomes constant when the object is within 30 centimeters of the bumper. Remember to always observe your surroundings and take action if required. If you wish to cancel the view, touch the cross in the top right corner of the screen. When reversing into a parking space, the parking aid system automatically activates. The front, rear and side sensors automatically activate and the indicator above the parking aid icon illuminates to confirm that the system is active. If you have an accessory fitted to the rear of the vehicle, it is important to remember that the system indicates the distance between an object and the bumper, not the fitted accessory. The rear camera, mounted on the rear bumper, automatically displays a color image from the rear of the vehicle. The rear camera image displays on the left side of the screen, and the right side shows the parking aid's 360 degree overhead graphic. Reversing and parking guidance lines are overlaid onto the rear camera image. The solid line represents the projected wheel trajectory. The dotted line is the safe working width of the vehicle including the exterior mirrors. The short horizontal line is the luggage compartment access guidance line. Do not go back any further than this if you need to access the luggage compartment area. The colored blocks indicate that the parking aid sensors have detected an object. A warning tone increases in frequency as you move closer to the object. The tone becomes constant when the object is within 30 centimeters of the bumper. Always observe the surrounding area and estimate the distance from the vehicle to the object. Take appropriate action if required. Touch the camera icon. The four cameras, one mounted in the front grille, one in the rear bumper, and one on each of the exterior mirrors are used to display camera images on the touchscreen. A graphic of the vehicle is displayed in the screen. Touch the arrow icons to select the associated camera image. Up to two images can be displayed at the same time. Touch the 360 degree icon to display a bird's eye view. The parking aid system will remain active until you select park or drive forwards at a speed of more than 10 miles per hour. The indicator above the parking aid icon extinguishes when the parking aid system is no longer active. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist. Once you've paired your phone, press Phone on the touchscreen to access the phone screen. 
From this screen, you can view a list of recent calls, your contacts list, and access the keypad and options to access your voicemail. To search for a contact in your phone book, touch Contacts. You can select a contact in one of two ways, by searching the list or by entering the name. To search the list, use the scroll arrows to move up or down through the contacts. Alternatively, swipe the screen in the relevant direction. Touch the desired contact to select it. To find a contact by name, enter the name of the required contact on the touchscreen's keyboard. As you select each letter, a list of stored contacts appear on the screen. Select the desired contact once it displays. Alternatively, you can select a contact or number from the Recent Calls list. Touch Recents to display the list. To enter a known number, select Keypad and enter the number on the displayed keypad. Touch the phone button to dial the number or contact. This changes to an End Call button during the call. Select this to end the call. When you receive a call, touch the phone button to answer. You can also use the steering wheel controls. Press the phone button to make a call. When you receive a call, press the phone button to answer. To end the call, press the phone button again. You can adjust the volume level of the call using the up and down arrows on the steering wheel control or by rotating the volume control. You can also manage calls using the voice system. Press the voice button on the steering wheel controls to activate the system. Commands are both read out by the system and displayed on the touch screen. Say or touch phone to display a list of relevant commands. Wait for the tone to sound and then say or touch the required command. Touch and hold the voice button to end the session. The phone system enables more than one call to be active at the same time. During a call, if a second call comes in, you are notified via a message on the touch screen. If you accept the new call, the current call is automatically put on hold. Details of both calls display on the screen. To swap back to the first caller, touch the swap icon or the contact's details on the screen. To end the current call, briefly touch End Call. Touch Add Call and select the required contact or dial the number. You can merge active calls into one conference call by selecting Merge. Please note that you cannot deselect Merge. If one of the callers ends their call, all other callers remain active on the line. Touch End Call to end the conference call. The vehicle's phone system gives you access to your phone's voicemail. Touch Options followed by Voicemail. When you access voicemail for the first time, you will need to enter your voicemail number on the displayed keypad to set up the service on your vehicle. You are now able to listen to your voicemail messages. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This vehicle allows you to view and adjust many of the vehicle's settings to your own personal preferences. From the touchscreen's Home menu, touch the Settings icon to display the Settings pop-up menu. The pop-up menu gives three options, Home Settings, Audio Settings and All Settings. Touch Home Settings to make changes to the home screen display. Touch Audio Settings to adjust the audio output and sound settings. The Audio Settings screen allows you to adjust the bass, treble and subwoofer levels. 
To make adjustments, touch the plus or minus soft keys. Or touch and drag the slider bar to the required position. Using the arrow soft keys, move the sound focal point in the vehicle. Alternatively, touch and drag the focal point to the desired position. Touch all settings to select all of the vehicle's settings options. A list of three options displays General, Features, and Languages and Keyboards. The General Settings menu allows you to view and make changes to the vehicle's general settings. From this screen, you can amend the time and date, alter the touchscreen display, set a screensaver, change the master pin, and view legal information. Touch Features to view and adjust the vehicle's feature settings. Move up and down through the list using the scroll bar. Or swipe the screen in the relevant direction. Touch the highlighted feature, for example, climate, to select it. The Languages and Keyboards option allows you to set the system language and accent language. You can also set the voice gender, male or female, for the system that gives voice feedback. Select keyboards to view or add keyboards. All of the main menu screens give you access to the settings for that particular feature. All of the settings menus include the All Settings and Audio Settings options. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist. This video will show you how to use the controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel to operate the audio system, the telephone, and the instrument panel message center. Use the Mode button to scroll through all audio sources. Once you've made your selection, it appears in the message center. When listening to the radio, use the up and down arrows to adjust the volume. Briefly press the left and right arrows to search the news stations by frequency. When listening to a media device, once again, you can adjust the volume using the up and down arrows. A brief press of the right arrow skips to the next track, and the left arrow skips play back to the previous track. You can use the steering wheel controls to operate the phone system of your vehicle when a phone is paired. To do this, Press the steering wheel phone button. Scroll through the menus displayed on the screen and select the number you require from the list. You'll see the selected number in the message center. During the call, you can adjust the volume using the up and down arrows. To end the call, press the phone button again. You can change a number of vehicle features and settings through the instrument panel menu. Some of these features are not available when the engine is running. Press the menu button to access the menu and scroll through the features list using the up and down arrows. To select the chosen feature, press OK. You can now view the feature options. Scroll through these using the up and down arrows again and press OK to select. If you want to return to the previous menu, press the left arrow button. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This video will show you how to use the controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel to operate the audio system, the telephone, and the instrument panel message center.
Use the Mode button to scroll through all audio sources. Once you've made your selection, it appears in the Message Center. When listening to the radio, use the up and down arrows to adjust the volume. Briefly press the left and right arrows to search the news stations by frequency. When listening to a media device, once again, you can adjust the volume using the up and down arrows. A brief press of the right arrow skips to the next track, and the left arrow skips play back to the previous track. You can use the steering wheel controls to operate the phone system of your vehicle when a phone is paired. To do this, press the steering wheel phone button. Scroll through the menus displayed on the screen and select the number you require from the list. You'll see the selected number in the message center. During the call, you can adjust the volume using the up and down arrows. To end the call, press the phone button again. You can change a number of vehicle features and settings through the instrument panel menu. Some of these features are not available when the engine is running. Press the menu button to access the menu and scroll through the features list using the up and down arrows. To select the chosen feature, press OK. You can now view the feature options. Scroll through these using the up and down arrows again and press OK to select. If you want to return to the previous menu, press the left arrow button. For further information about this feature or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer who will be more than happy to assist you. This video will show you how the keyless entry feature works and how the keyless locking feature works. Keyless entry allows you to unlock and enter the vehicle without having to press any buttons on the smart key. Key will need to be within one meter or three feet of the door handle or tailgate release switch for this feature to operate correctly. To unlock and enter your vehicle in this way, just pull the door handle. This will disarm the alarm and unlock the doors. As confirmation, the hazard warning lamps will flash twice. You can also lock the vehicle without using the smart key. Press the keyless locking sensor on the driver's door handle once. To double lock, press the sensor again within three seconds. The hazard warning lamps will flash twice to confirm locking and an audible warning will be heard. Be careful not to grab the door handle when touching the sensor, as this will stop the vehicle from locking. The smart key also needs to be present and detected outside of the vehicle for the locking feature to work. For further information about this feature or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Land Rover dealer, who will be more than happy to assist you. Before using the third row seats, ensure that the load space cover has been removed. To raise the seat, pull the strap on the rear of the seat and lift into the raised position. Lift the head restraint until it locks. To access the third row seats, pull the lever on top of the seat. This will allow you to tilt the seat back and slide the seat forward. To return the seat into position, Slide the seat back until it locks. For comfort, the second row seats can be moved forward. Pull the lever at the front of the seat and slide into position. To fold a third row seat, press the button on the side of the head restraint and fold forward. Pull the strap on the rear of the seat to release the locking mechanism and fold forward into the stored position. The split folding rear seats can both be folded to accommodate large loads or partially folded and still retain seating for passengers. To fold the center seat, press the button on the side of the head restraint and fold forward. Press the release button on top of the seat and fold forward until it locks in the lowered position. To raise the center seat, lift the seat until it firmly locks into the upright position and raise the head restraint. 
To fold a second row seat, press the button on the side of the head restraint and fold forward. Lift the lever on the side of the seat and fold forward until it locks in the lowered position. To raise a second row seat, lift the lever on the side of the seat and raise until it firmly locks into the upright position and raise the head restraint. For further information about this feature or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer who will be more than happy to assist you. Before using the third row seats, ensure that the load space cover has been removed. To raise the seat, pull and release the switch. Alternatively, to raise the seat from inside the vehicle, press and release the switch. When the seat is raised, manually lift the head restraint into position. To access the third row seats, press the switch on the top of the seat to fold the seat back into the tilt position and manually slide the seat base forward. To return the seat, manually slide the seat into the fully rearward position. The seat back will automatically return to the upright position. If the seat is not moved to the fully rearward position, press the switch to return the seat back to the upright position. For comfort, the second row seats can be moved forward. Pull the lever at the front of the seat and slide the seat into the required position. The second and third row seats can be folded or raised using the switches located inside the load space or by using the touchscreen. You can also configure the seats using the In Control Remote Premium Smartphone app if you have purchased this option. The second or third row seat switch will fully fold the chosen seat. Pulling a second row or third row seat switch fully raises the chosen seat. When the seat is raised, manually lift the head restraint into position. To fold or unfold all second and third row seats, press the Fold All switch located in the load space. To fold or raise the rear seats using the touchscreen, touch the Seats icon on the home screen followed by the Seat Fold icon. Select the seats to be folded or raised and touch the Fold or Unfold All icon. To fold a head restraint, touch the Head Restraint drop icon. Select the head restraint to be folded or raised. Next, touch the Drop All icon. It is not possible to raise a head restraint remotely. If you have purchased the Land Rover In Control Remote smartphone app, you can also configure the seats remotely using the app. There is a demonstration within the app which will show you how to use this feature. The Remote Seats app can only be operated if the vehicle is locked. For further information, please visit www.landrover.com and search for the In Control website. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you.
The Activity Key is a robust and fully waterproof security wrist strap. It allows you to enjoy a range of activities, for example swimming or surfing, where the smart key would be obtrusive or difficult to keep secure. You can use the Activity Key to lock and unlock your vehicle. While the Activity Key is worn on the wrist, the smart key needs to remain inside the vehicle. When the activity key is activated, the vehicle locks, the alarm system arms, and any valid smart key remaining inside the vehicle disables. To lock your vehicle, the ignition must be switched off, and your smart key remains inside your vehicle. After exiting the vehicle and closing the last open door, the activity key activates for 30 seconds. The antenna is located behind the first letter, as shown on screen. You will have this time to place the activity key wrist strap against the letter. When the security pairing is complete, the vehicle locks and arms the alarm system. The hazard warning lamps flash to confirm. When the vehicle is locked with the activity key, any valid smart key remaining inside the vehicle disables. Any valid smart key outside the vehicle remains enabled. When returning to the vehicle, reactivate the antenna by pressing the tailgate release button. The antenna activates for 30 seconds, allowing you time to place the activity key wrist strap against the letter, as shown on screen. When the antenna recognizes the activity key, the vehicle unlocks and disarms the alarm system. The hazard warning lamps flash to confirm. When the vehicle is unlocked with the activity key, any valid smart key inside the vehicle is re-enabled. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This video will show you the basics of the diesel exhaust fluid DEF system, including how to top up the DEF system. In order to meet ever more stringent emissions regulation, your vehicle is fitted with a new generation of catalytic converters and selective catalyst reduction or SCR technology. SCR technology requires the introduction of an additive into the diesel exhaust system. This additive is known as diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. DEF may also be known as AdBlue, 
AUS-32 or ARLA-32. DEF is a non-toxic liquid containing urea and demineralized water. It is drawn into the exhaust system of your vehicle from a tank. The consumption of DEF can vary greatly. An average consumption will be 800 kilometers, 500 miles per liter. But this consumption rate can be more than doubled depending on driving style, road and weather conditions. When starting the vehicle, the message center displays a series of warnings when the DEF level becomes low. The first warning states that the DEF fluid level is at a level where a top-up is advised. It is important not to ignore these warnings. If you see a warning, like either of the ones displayed, book your vehicle into your local retailer as soon as possible to allow them to refill the DEF tank. If you can't get to your retailer before running out of DEF, you can top up the tank yourself. To do this, you will need two standard-sized, non-drip refill bottles. Each bottle contains 1.89 litres, or 0.42 gallons, of DEF. Before adding any fluid, make sure that the bottles display the specification ISO 22241-1 or DIN 70070. To top up the DEF tank, First, with the vehicle on a flat level surface, locate the DEF tank filler and remove the cap by turning it counterclockwise. Place the refill bottle over the DEF tank filler aperture. Turn the bottle clockwise until it locks into position. Press the base of the bottle until all of the fluid has drained into the DEF tank. Then, Turn the bottle counterclockwise and remove. Repeat the procedure with the second bottle. Replace the DEF tank cap, turning it clockwise until a click is heard. You will now be able to start your engine, and the warning in the message center should extinguish. It is important to remember, however, that you've only topped the DEF tank up you will need to book your vehicle into an approved retailer for a full system refill. Once you've topped up the DEF tank, it may take up to an hour for the vehicle to register this. In some vehicles, the remaining distance until the DEF tank is empty can be viewed in the message center. To do this, switch on the ignition, but do not start the engine. Press the OK button on the steering wheel controls to access the main menu, or repeatedly press OK until driver assistance is displayed. Using the down arrow, scroll down to highlight vehicle information, and press OK to confirm selection. Scroll down to highlight diesel exhaust fluid, or next service, and press OK to confirm the selection. The DEF range is then displayed. Not all vehicles are equipped to display the remaining distance until the DEF tank is empty. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist. This vehicle's powered tailgate and inner tailgate incorporates gesture-based technology, which allows automatic opening or closing of the powered tailgate and inner tailgate. For this feature to operate, you will need to have your smart key on you, or locate the key within 1.2 meters of the vehicle's rear area. The sensors are located at the vehicle's sides behind the bumper's surface. Be careful not to touch the exhaust during the process, as it may be hot. As you approach the sides of your vehicle rear, 
Check that the surrounding area is clear of any obstructions and that your standing area is not unstable or slippery. When safe to do so, perform a smooth kick and return motion in the sensor zone. When the sensors recognize the kick gesture, the tailgate automatically opens, followed by the inner tailgate. If the kick gesture is not recognized, confirm key location, adjust your positioning, and perform the kick gesture again. To close the tailgate and inner tailgate, repeat the kick gesture, and the tailgates will automatically close. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This vehicle lets you use a Bluetooth-enabled mobile phone hands-free. All you have to do is pair your phone with the vehicle. After pairing, the system connects to the phone whenever the phone is inside the vehicle and the ignition is switched on. Remember to keep Bluetooth activated on your phone. Before you start pairing your phone, refer to the ownership section of our website for a list of compatible phones. To pair your phone, switch the ignition on and touch the Phone soft key in the Home menu. A message will appear asking if you'd like to connect a device. Select Yes. Make your vehicle discoverable to Bluetooth devices by selecting Make System Discoverable. Your vehicle is now discoverable and you have three minutes to connect a Bluetooth device. Go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone and search for new devices. Select your vehicle's name. A passkey will be generated by the system and a confirmation message will appear on your phone and vehicle's touchscreen. Check the code on screen matches the one on your handset and select Yes to confirm. If pairing is successful, you'll see the confirmation message on the touchscreen. The vehicle will now automatically connect to your phone. Alternatively, you can use the vehicle to device method. To do this, make sure that Bluetooth is switched on and your handset is discoverable. After selecting Phone from the Home menu, touch Search for Bluetooth devices. Your vehicle searches for any visible devices and lists them on the touchscreen display. Select your phone from the list and follow the on screen prompts on your phone and the vehicle's touchscreen. Up to four phones can be paired in this way, but only one can be active at a time. Please be aware that the pairing process can take some time to complete. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. Digital audio broadcasting, generally referred to as DAB, provides high quality digital radio. This video will show you the basics of the DAB radio system, including how to tune your DAB radio, how to store a channel as a preset, and how to recall a preset channel. Start using your DAB radio by building a list of available ensembles and channels within your region. You can do this by selecting Media on the touchscreen's home menu, or you can press the Media button on the touchscreen surround. Select DAB Radio. On the next screen, you can use the Auto Seek keys to tune in your required ensemble and station. If you want to store a channel that you're listening to, you will need to select one of the presets and hold for two seconds. You will notice a brief change in volume confirming your selection as a preset. More presets can be accessed using the arrows. To recall a stored preset, 
simply touch the appropriate preset where the channel is stored. A temporary loss of reception as a result of losing the DAB radio signal can sometimes be experienced. This can occur when the vehicle is shielded by large objects, such as tall buildings. These are known as dead spots. The sound quality of the DAB radio can also be affected by auxiliary electrical equipment connected to the vehicle. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This video will show you how to access your phone book's contacts, how to dial a number and a stored contact, how to answer and end calls, and how to send and receive text messages. Once you've paired your phone, press the phone button on the touchscreen surround to access the phone screen. To search for a contact in your phone book, touch the Contacts soft key. You can select a contact in one of two ways by searching the list or entering the name. To search the list, use the scroll arrows to move up or down through the contacts. Touch the desired contact to select it. To find a contact by name, enter the name of the required contact on the touchscreen's alphanumeric touchpad. Select the desired contact once it displays. To enter a known number, select keypad and enter the number on the displayed touchpad. Touch the green phone icon to dial the number. This icon changes to a red phone icon during a call. Select this to end the call. When you receive a call, touch the green phone icon to answer. You can also use the steering wheel controls. Press the phone button to make a call. When you receive a call, press the phone button to answer. To end the call, press the phone button again. You can adjust the volume level of the call using the up and down arrows on the steering wheel control or by rotating the volume control on the media system. The phone system gives access to your phone's text messaging service. Touch Messages to view your messages inbox and to write a new text message. Please note that you can only write and reply to text messages when the vehicle is stationary. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This vehicle allows you to use a Bluetooth-enabled mobile phone hands-free. All you have to do is pair your phone with the vehicle. After pairing, the system connects automatically to the phone whenever the phone is inside the vehicle and the ignition is switched on. Remember to keep Bluetooth activated on your phone. Before you start pairing your phone, refer to the ownership section of our website for a list of compatible phones. If you are pairing a phone for the first time, switch the ignition on and touch Tap to Connect Phone on the home screen. This makes the vehicle's Bluetooth system discoverable. Go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone and search for new devices. Select your vehicle's name. A passkey is generated by the system and a confirmation message appears on your phone and the vehicle's touchscreen. Check the passkey on the screen matches the one on your handset and select OK on the handset and Yes on the touchscreen to confirm. If pairing is successful, your phone's name is displayed. The vehicle now automatically connects to your phone. If you are connecting an iPhone, accept the pairing request. The phone system connects automatically without generating a passkey. Once a phone is paired and connected, a message may appear on the phone 
asking if you want to download the phone's contacts and recent call list to the vehicle. Approve this request. Next, press the phone shortcut to take you to the phone screen. To pair an additional phone or to change to another paired phone, select Change Phone. Touch Pair a new device or select from the list of paired phones. For further information about this feature or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. In Control Connect, uses an external roof-mounted antenna for reliable connection to the strongest possible mobile and data signal while on the move. The powerful high-speed 3G connection allows up to eight devices to be connected wirelessly within the vehicle. This feature requires a connection to be made, either via a Wi-Fi network or a mobile network. When connecting a portable device to the internet, the ignition needs to be switched on. A connection can be made to the internet either via an external Wi-Fi network within range or via a data-enabled micro SIM card. To access the internet connection options, select the settings icon from any main menu screen. The settings pop-up menu displays. Touch all settings followed by features. From the list of features, select Connectivity to display the connectivity screen. This screen gives you three options, Hotspot, Wi-Fi and Mobile Data. To create a Wi-Fi hotspot for your vehicle, switch the Hotspot option on. The hotspot's name and password can be viewed via the Hotspot Settings option. To generate a new password, touch the Refresh icon. Select Off to disable the hotspot. To connect to a Wi-Fi network, switch the Wi-Fi option on. Touch Add to display a list of available networks on the Wi-Fi network screen. Use the scroll bar, if required, to view the full list. A secure network is indicated by a padlock icon. These require a password to enable them. When a secure network is selected, a keyboard displays. Enter the network's password and select OK. The connecting status is shown next to the network's name. This changes to connected once the network is connected. The chosen network moves to the top of the list and the network's name is shown on the connectivity screen. If a connection is made, the Wi-Fi icon displays. Touch the name to display a pop-up menu. Selecting Forget erases the network's details from the list. Some networks may not appear in the list and may be hidden. To add a hidden network, touch the Add Network soft key at the bottom of the list. The Add Network screen displays. Enter the network's name by touching the respective Add option. Enter the details on the displayed keyboard and touch OK to confirm the details. If the displayed security type information is incorrect, touch it and select the network's associated security type from the list. If a password is required, touch the respective Add option to display the keyboard. Enter the network's password and select OK to confirm. When all of the relevant information has been entered, touch Connect to access the Internet. To connect to a mobile network, switch the Mobile Data option on. A Settings soft key displays on the screen. This soft key allows you to view and change your mobile data settings. 
If you are having a problem with receiving data from your network operator, touch Network Provider. The Network Provider screen displays with two options. Select On to automatically reset your provider's APN settings. Select Off to manually adjust the settings. Enter the name of the network, the username and the password and select Connect. For further information about this feature or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist. With your vehicle connected to the cloud, Live will continue to evolve with new updates being sent to the vehicle. These include improvements to existing services or new apps, so you can be sure that your vehicle is always up to date with the latest Live features. To use the In Control Live feature, you first need to insert a data enabled micro SIM into the SIM card reader slot in the center console's cubby box or a Wi Fi connection. To use Live, your vehicle needs the initial update to be installed. This may have already been carried out by your retailer. If no initial update has been completed, then an initial update is required to install the latest Live features to your vehicle. To access the Updates feature, select Live from the Extra Features menu, followed by Updates. This initial update begins downloading automatically. The blue line above the Updates app turns into a progress bar showing the download progress. Or by selecting the Updates app, a progress bar shows the status of the download. Following the initial update, the vehicle needs to be shut down and then restarted to install the new update. To complete a full shutdown of the vehicle, press the Start Stop button to turn off the engine. Leave and then lock the vehicle. Allow approximately 10 minutes for the vehicle to shut down. Return to the vehicle and press the Start Stop button. On Vehicle Start, the new Live update installs automatically. Live is unavailable while the update is installing. Once installation is complete, you can access Live and its features. Occasionally, new updates are sent to the vehicle, which can include improvements to existing services or new features added. When a new update is detected, a green icon appears on the Updates app to show you there is a new update ready to download. To download a new update, select the Updates app, followed by Download. A progress bar shows the status of the download. Following the update, the vehicle needs to be shut down and then restarted to complete the installation. To access the Live Settings, touch the Settings icon and then select Live Settings. Live Settings allows you to switch on the App Usage Log, set auto updates, and select the System Configuration to view a list of the live features installed in your vehicle. Selecting Deleting Live removes all downloaded apps, user accounts, user data, browsing history, cookies and cached files. Select Yes to confirm the delete action or No to cancel the delete action. A full shutdown of the vehicle needs to be made before Live is deleted and restored to its factory state. Please note, you need to be continuously connected via SIM data or Wi-Fi to complete these steps. For further information about this feature or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. The vehicle's media systems controls 
can be accessed by touching media on the home screen or by selecting the media icon. This directs you to the last used media source. Next, touch Source. This takes you to the Select Source screen. From this screen, you can access all media sources available. You can operate all of the media sources via the touch screen, the steering wheel controls, or the voice system. Switch the system on and off, and adjust the volume for any source using the media control below the touchscreen. Touch the settings icon and then select the audio settings option to adjust the bass, treble and subwoofer levels. To listen to the radio, touch the radio option. To change the radio band, touch band. You can search for stations via the find option. Three options are displayed. Station list. Frequency input and genre. Frequency input displays the keypad. Both station list and genre display a list of stations to choose from. Seek up and down the stations using the arrows or swipe the screen in the relevant direction. When a station is selected, the station's information is displayed on the screen. Touch the Favorites icon to save the station to your favorites list. Touch Source to return to the Select Source screen. To watch a DVD, insert a disc into the disc slot below the touchscreen and select DVD from the Select Source screen. Touch the image to view the menu options. Select DVD menu to view the DVD menu controls. If required, select the position icon to change the menu's position. Use the arrows to navigate to your selection and select OK to confirm your selection. Touch Resume to resume DVD playback. Touch to view the menu options. Select Options to zoom in or out of the view and to select subtitles. Touch the image again to view the controls for pausing playing the disc and for forwarding and rewinding play. Alternatively, to move through the disc, touch or drag the progress bar to the required position, or swipe the screen to move to the next or previous chapter or track. Select Source to return to the Select Source screen. To watch the television, touch Television. Search for TV stations via the Find option. Search the channel list for available stations. Touch the program you wish to view. Touch the Favorites icon to save the channel to your Favorites list. Touch Source to return to the Select Source screen. Portable media devices need to be connected via the portable media sockets. These are located in the center console cubby box. Once connected, Touch the portable media on the Select Source screen. Media from the device is heard through the vehicle speakers and information about the currently playing media is displayed on the screen. Play can be controlled from the touch screen. Touch the left arrow or swipe the screen to the right to skip back to the previous track. Touch and hold to rewind play. Touch the right arrow or swipe the screen to the left to skip to the next track. Touch and hold to fast forward. Alternatively, touch or drag the progress bar to the desired position. To search the device, select Find. Select the relevant icon, artist, album, song, etc. to view available options. Touch the More icon to display a list of further available options. To import media from the device to the vehicle's internal storage, touch the Settings icon, followed by the Media Player Settings option. Next, select Manage Car Memory or Import to Car Memory. This will allow media to be imported and stored for playback through the media library. To return to the media screen, touch the Return icon. 
Select Source to return to the media's Select Source menu. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. When planning your journey, start by touching Navigation on the home screen or selecting the navigation icon. The map screen displays, showing your current location. Touch the menu icon, the one with the six small squares, to display the navigation's main menu options. From the menu options, select Search. Alternatively, Touch the Set Destination shortcut on the home screen. There are two methods available to use from the search screen. The first method is the one box search. The alternative method of using the search screen is to search by Point of Interest category. Select from the list of available categories. To use the one box search method, tap the search box to activate the keyboard and enter your destination. If you don't know the full name or address, you can view the search results list. To do this, touch the hide keyboard icon. To continue typing, tap search box again. Next, select enter. If the displayed location is correct, touch Start to begin navigation to the selected destination. If you would like to view other suggested routes, touch Route Options before selecting Start. Select the desired route and touch Start to begin guidance to the selected destination. Your selected route displays on the screen with an estimated time of arrival, distance left to travel, and the estimated time to destination. The route guidance can be cancelled by selecting the Stop Guidance button in the main menu, or alternatively by pressing the Cancel Guidance shortcut on the home screen. This shortcut has a flag icon with a line through it. There are other alternative methods for entering a destination. To use these methods, Go to the navigation main menu, or simply search the map and tap the desired location. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you. This video will show you how to parallel park, perpendicular park, and exit a parallel parking space using Park Assist. To parallel park, press the Park Assist icon on the touchscreen. The touchscreen displays a Park Assist graphic. Touch Parallel Park. The Parallel Park icon is also highlighted in the Message Center. As you approach a space, drive slowly past it, leaving a gap of 0.5 to 1.5 meters between your vehicle and the row of parked vehicles. The system sensors automatically search for a large enough space on the passenger's side. When a suitable space is found, a confirmation graphic displays, accompanied by a tone. Continue to drive slowly past the space until instructed to stop and release the wheel. When instructed, Select Reverse and wait until instructed to reverse with care, allowing Park Assist to take control of the steering. Observe the space and apply the brake pedal if necessary. Stop and select a forward gear. Wait until instructed to drive forward with care.
stop the vehicle when a message displays informing you that Park Assist has finished the maneuver. To exit a parallel parking space, press the Park Assist icon on the touchscreen, followed by Park Exit. While the system is measuring the area around the vehicle, release the wheel. If there is enough space to exit, enough space to exit displays in the message center, accompanied by a tone. When instructed, select reverse and wait until instructed to stop and select a forward gear. Wait until instructed to drive forward with care, allowing the system to take control of the steering. Observe the surrounding area and apply the brake pedal if necessary. A confirmation message displays instructing you to take control of the wheel once the maneuver is complete. To park in a space that is at a 90 degree angle to your vehicle, press the park assist icon on the touchscreen, followed by perpendicular park. The sensors search for a large enough space to maneuver into. When a suitable space is found, a confirmation graphic displays, accompanied by a tone. Continue to drive slowly past the space until instructed to stop and release wheel. Select reverse and wait. When instructed, reverse with care, allowing the system to take control of the steering. Observe the space and apply the brake pedal if necessary. Stop and select a forward gear when instructed to do so. You may need to drive forwards and reverse. Stop the vehicle when Park Assist has finished the maneuver. To switch the system off, press Cancel Park Assist on the touchscreen. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer who will be more than happy to assist you.